So in today's video, we're going to take a look at what's going to happen if the Russian Empire comes back in the modern day. And as we can see here, the Russian Empire was one of the biggest empires in the entire history of mankind. It stretches all the way from Alaska to Finland. But yeah, what if the Russian Empire comes back in the modern day? To see that, let's get right into the video. So for the first 50 years or so, they're going to try to stabilize their country. And the Russian Empire is too big, so it will be hard for them to administer all of this. And yeah, after 50 years of stabilization, now we're going to see the Russian empire expanding one more thing is that major alliances like nato csto the eu or the un do not exist in my videos i mean csto would definitely not exist but yeah the first countries which the russian empire wants to invade is poland czechoslovakia hungary and romania now this might seem like a lot of countries for you but the russian empire was also militarizing their country so yeah now things are not looking good for these countries and the first country out was romania after they lose their capital city they just go ahead and surrender who was already devastated by the russian empire i mean they lost all of this land so yeah um they're out of this war after the fall of bratislava we can see that slovakia also surrenders and hungary just decides to join the russian empire czechia 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 how unfortunate you're always getting smacked but yeah you should also surrender and now let's take a look at this peace negotiation and yeah this kind of happened the russian empire is probably the strongest country in the world by now way ahead of the u.s so yeah serbia is very happy about whatever is happening happening with russia and the serbians were unable to store their happiness and now they want to reform yugoslavia keep in mind that this isn't serbia we're talking about this is basically the russian army who is sending all of their troops towards serbia and yeah we can see the results over here russia is indirectly supporting serbia and after some months of fighting we can see that serbia finally wins the war and then this kind of happens not gonna lie guys i love the yugoslav borders and after all of this happened the russians are now ready for another war Guess who they're going at war with in 3, 2, one mongolia the russians storm into mongolia and take the country within two days now i don't know if in two days they would be able to do this considering the land area of mongolia but i guess the russians finally got their revenge from the mongols who kind of took over all of russia most of russia back in the 1200s so yeah after all these events everyone is pretty scared of the russian empire and now we're gonna see some unions taking place so yeah let's take a look at these unions not too many unions but let's Let's take a look first off we can see that korea unites under south korea i don't know how that's gonna happen but over here in germany we can see that austria as well as denmark decide to join germany and then we have a union between sweden and norway yeah those were all the unions there aren't too many but yeah now the russian empire is thinking of having an access to the arabian sea but who can they invade they can't invade afghanistan for obvious reasons i mean it made the soviets collapse so the russians are smart now they can't invade pakistan Pakistan because they don't have a border with Pakistan and that ultimately leaves us with Iran and then this kind of happens but at first we can see that the Iranian troops are pushing into Russia or I guess the Central Asian parts of Russia and they're doing pretty well over here we can see that the Iranians are also pushing into the Azerbaijan region and they ultimately take all of the Caucasus region and Iran is doing surprisingly well until a fully mobilized Russian army arrives but yeah still the Iranians do manage to push even further into the Central Asian parts but over here in the Caucasus region, we can see that the Russians finally push back the Iranians and they even managed to push into Iran and they secure some areas. This is kind of mountainous, so it will be hard. But yeah, the Iranians rush back from this campaign and now they're going to try to secure their capital city, which is Tehran. And the Russians are dangerously close to Tehran. So yeah, due to this retreat, we can see that the Russians are pushing back the Iranians in the Central Asian parts. Wow, that was kind of hard to say. And now Iran is biting their nails as they're getting absolutely devastated by the russian army russia also now has her hands on the massive oil fields of iran and the russians continue to push in from the eastern parts and eventually we can see that tehran was taken and the remaining parts of iran just surrender surrender yeah that's what i thought and in this peace negotiation we can see that all of iran was completely annexed by the russian empire and now the russian empire has access to the arabian sea or maybe the indian ocean but do you notice that bulgaria and greece did not unify and that decision did not turn out to be good as the russian empire decides to declare war on both these countries and this is purely because they want to have an access to the mediterranean sea i mean they do have an access through the bosphorus strait but still that's under turkey so yeah 
things are not looking good for these countries. Bulgaria is immediately out of this war. Turkey tries to get into this war, but the Russians were too fast, as they take all of Greece too. And Turkey's dream of invading Greece remains a dream, as the Russians completely annex all of Bulgaria and Greece. Yeah, I think that this is too much for Russia to handle, and they're probably gonna run into a civil war within like one year. They could have invaded Canada, but they don't want to go at war with the US. So yeah, this is gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and tell me what you guys want to see in the future. And thank you for watching.